Welcome to ISIS in the Bible, the summer gathering week two. Open mic. The question for today is, what does the phrase go with the flow mean to you? If you truly want to be in the now and not be in our past memories, but want guidance and still want to imagine our future, what question would you ask the universe with a universal mic? We went around the room and it was absolutely beautiful. And I'll share that when we edit the video. Did you know that broadcasting could never happen without a magnet? Both the microphone and a speaker both have magnets. And what is in the middle of a magnet? No thing. It was a beautiful synchronicity with that, with Marion, which is the ether or pure love, pure potential, your most enlightened self. And this process is the instantaneous action at a distance that we know in physics. So ask away. Glad you could join us today. So what's happening in the sky? Someone reached out and told me that the Biscuit Geyser near Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park, well, it spewed out, it like burst, right? And I know the energies are really high because we know things are going on with Taurus, right? With Mars being in Taurus. And so I took the exact time when that geyser went because there's always got to be an energy somewhere. And Mars was exactly overhead at that time. And you can see that Hygieia is sitting there right at the exact location, which Hygieia does cleanses, right? So the earth is cleansing with this beautiful. No one was hurt, by the way. Lots of rocks flying all over. So I just wanted to show you that, I don't know, maybe Thursday there's going to be a lot more energy because Hygieia is going to be 30 degree away from, from Mars. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. I, just, I like watching these and seeing how it affects the energies around the world. So again, this is Mars being in Taurus. Of course, Uranus is there and Mars being in Taurus and Taurus is the bull. And there are still a whole lot of people walking in. And just there's emails going back and forth today in the group that I'm in and how they're wanting to uh, just basically take charge and uh, start making change in the city councils because they're doing things that are not supposed to be in. But we got to do it with a centered heart because although many of them are uh, doing things they shouldn't, but they don't really, really know why they're doing it and why they're allowed to do it. So that's all going to change. So because you can genuinely ask your most enlightened self a question from the heart, it is heard in every atom, which is pure love. Know that it will be answered, so stay heart-centered. Even when you are being guided with non-loving vibration, it is all guidance. The better you get at it, the more invigorating and loving the guidance becomes. And many people in here are getting, and even in the YouTube chat, are sharing their synchronicities. It's absolutely beautiful. It's happening. So at the heart of any communication device is a magnet, which houses the portal to instantaneous action at a distance, which is only another physics term for pure love. When you wonder why all of a sudden law of attraction is coming in from everywhere, it's not because of man and his toys. It's because of the divine feminine, AKA love, 
is setting up the stage for us to communicate with anyone, anywhere, anytime. It really is placebo, as you have this inherent in every one of your dielectric fields in your body, which we call atoms. So everywhere, every atom has this ability to know love. And that's why we talked about our cleanses. When the entrance to these little the tiny portals in every atom are muddy, then that's where we get the pain. So it's just the resistance that we feel while we're trying to cleanse. So it really is ramping up, folks. Reports coming in where all things align with Mother Nature's plan to form one love community, reaching out to all lands everywhere, is manifesting invigorating synchronicities. So jump in. The waters are warm. Stay that heart-centered. It's all guidance. So I just got a couple of Bible verses, just slightly tweaked to make them be exactly the way they're supposed to mean. So unity in the Bible, 1 Corinthians, spiritual gifts. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is filled with Christ, which is love, the Christ oil. For we were all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body, we were all given the one spirit slash love to drink. These are the pure waters of the ether. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. In other words, we're one. In John 13, a new command I give you, love one another as you are loved, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are unified if you love one another. Sounds familiar, right? And then in Ephesians 4, unity and maturity, from love the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. In Colossians 3, putting on the new self. Look at that, it's called putting on the new self. And all over these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Isn't this, this is all beautiful stuff in the Bible, right? And then last but not least is 1 John 4, a Samaritan woman. Dear friends, let us love one another, for God manifests from love. Everyone who loves has been born in perfection known as God. Whoever does not love does not know the meaning of God, because God is from love. So I want to leave you with this. The G-O-D, the 609, is from love. It's the process of perfection. God is everywhere, because every atom forms in this 609, G-0-D, both sides of the field. And that's where we get the term God from. So God, why we praise God? Because God is perfection, because Mother Nature wants to build itself out in perfection. But God is not something that you idol. God is something that you want to achieve. God form, God-like, in other words, in perfection, because our body parts grow in perfection when we are filled with love. God is from love. So I leave that with you. And that's all we have for today.